Dudes posting their videos is what made me start visiting parks. Mm, looking right. for people. So you know you was great, you didn't stay on your block, bro. Nah. How you know you great unless you step in another man's park where he is great? I'm not sure. Then they say I got a tuckery. I it's a different way people react to certain to certain things. Yeah. Much respect. Yeah. So um I want you to I want you to tell me maybe three of your favorite moves and why. Why would you enjoy it being your favorite? Because you got a lot of moves, I know you. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna say this, I'm, I don't know nobody in the game with more creative moves than myself. Let me say what I mean by that. That means I made them, I didn't watch you, switch it, come back and say, look, it's mine. Every move I seen Vital do from the, um, yeah. <laughs> every move had a name to it, and that kind of bothers me too, yeah, Vital. I'm gonna blame, I'm gonna blame. dudes doing moves, stealing our moves and changing the name. I'm gonna blame Vital for that, because he nah, ain't saying nothing, bro. <laughs> you know this is not no Russian move, bro. Stop. <laughs> Stop trying to read, they renaming the moves, yeah, bro. Right. <laughs> Brother. Yeah, they, they do all kind of Listen. Matter of fact, not to cut you off. Cut me off. I don't see, what was the, the P90X dude? He called that the corner of the car. Corn on the car. Cause you know how you bite the corners with the Yeah. Head? I'm like, yeah, I think y'all slick. <laughs> Corn on the car. I'm like, all right, cool. I see where this is going. <laughs> so I'm gonna say again, at any weight class, the moves that was being created, when I see Vital, when I see them on the dip ball with me in Brooklyn, we dipping out. Yeah. Vital stone 180 is like he's 140. Bop! Bop! Now I'm 180 at the time. Bop! 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 I'm like, what the f? <laughs> yo, yo! Let me get some of that move! Because I'm not really pushing drinking at the balls on that level. So now you gotta remember, I'm a creator. To see another creator do sets, not sets with me, create a set that's innovative is like, yo, okay, this is gonna be real. He's gonna make me come out my box. Yeah, that's, Nobody that's... else made me better. Like Storm in 2008 made me like get off the floor. He made me wanna go create. Yeah. I didn't see nobody that inspired me. Cause you remember at the time, like okay. before, before y'all came out with the DVD, like yeah, there was, there yeah, was, yeah, yeah, facts. There was no other person that was there. Cause it, I felt like King Kong. I had my Skull Island. I was the king there. That tape came out like, hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, they playing, playing. Yeah, they playing, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yo, shout out to Thug Workout, yeah. but they did nothing for motivation. Yeah. They did not. They made me frustrated. They made me angry. I had an ego because I was supposed to. Let me tell you the story on that right quick. I'm supposed to be in Thug Workout, me and my brother. But I'm out of town. My brother's not even in the city. A brother named Jabal calls me, who's with Swiss every day. So let's be real clear. Jabal, I'm gonna be in that video. I don't know what's going on. Yo, don't shoot that without me. They shot the video. I see Thug Workout. I'm supposed to be in that. I'm gonna tell you right now. There might not be no bartenders if we was in it. If DMY would have called me, there might not be no bartenders. Because I'm already in Thug Workout with Rough Riders. But because it didn't come out, I was so angry, I prayed on it. I mean, I was hurt, man. I started praying, and then Allah said, you know what? I got something else for you. Yeah, so basically you wasn't supposed to be in it. That's deep. <laughs> but I knew I was supposed to be in Thug Workout. When I see Armour talk that arm, I was like, you're fools! <laughs> Yo, Beast, I need you to come. I am shooting Sub-Zero. I'm calling out the dude from Thug Workout, Armour. Who is now bartenders? He came years later. I got the footage from my cameraman. I taught him Incredibles. Let me get to that in a minute. Muscle ups. Respect to everybody saying muscle up. But that came from gymnastics. When I put the first video out, there was maybe seven people in the whole city going over the bar. Maybe seven. 
I'll say 10. Going over the ball, doing Incredibles. I don't remember no one about it going over the ball. And my nah, first it was, like, DVD, it was like one of those moves that people talked about. Because even when somebody asked me, can I do it? They're like, yo, you know how to go over the ball? I did it, but it ain't had, like, I didn't know a name. It was just, I did it just because I had the strength to do it, but not a lot of people were doing it. It was like, you, know, you can do it. Like, they must have seen somebody do it, and now they want to ask anybody they think is strong. Can, can, can they do it? it? That's team. <laughs> so that was a proof of a power move, supposedly. Yeah. The Incredible. You know what I mean? But went to the next level because the Incredible was here, but Beast did what? Elevated. He <laughs> jumped. <laughs> top to bottom. Let me make another clear statement, fact. Nobody was letting go of the bar or jumping from it, but two teams. Beast, John. Nobody was letting go of the bar. Amen. Let go of it. That's a beast mode bar in the thing. When B started, it was not, not one, he did one. I'm gonna give you eight. So I'm like, well, he's clapping. I might as well touch my feet. So watch and help me create. Are oh, you going behind him? Okay, well, let me go this way and touch my toes. Sets. Sets. Yeah. Okay, Beast did. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Beast, I'm switching it. I don't look like him, but the moves changed from the innovative styles, bro. Yeah. And Beast wasn't nice on the dip ball. Nah. See, most of you dudes, I only I see you on the ball. I spent more time on the pull ball. <laughs> Listen. The dips was just to help everything else out. Cause it was, I only did dips to mainly focus on tricep. Try. He wasn't really doing doing any real moves on the dip ball. Are you hearing them people? Because the park that I came from, we had the parallel ball, so you can create more doing stuff on pull-ups. So my dips just to help pull-ups until I started going upside down. That was and it. that was just to do shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> you see the goal again? The purpose of being upside down, not to get a nice handstand. Yeah, shoulders. shoulders. Which I respect people doing handstands that represents balance. Respect again. That's not a set. It's a set of balance. Yeah. All right? Here's my, I got a few more, here's my next one. According to sets, Armstrong can do a set of 90 and say I got sets. No, that was us rep. One set. <laughs> sets means twins. So if B said I got 10 sets of Incredibles, that means he got 10 sets. Not I did a clip of 60, which is cool. But with me, you gotta give me another clip of 60 to say you got sets of 60s. Can you please give me some input on that, Ken? Yeah, facts. <laughs> yeah, so basically, like like you said, with sets, like, you can't come in the park fresh and leave the same way you came in and think you did something. Like, even with my team, um, we work out, yeah, we work out first, and we make sure the body tired. So our reps was always high the first set. That's when we came up with the first 48. So we had to complete 4,800 push-ups, like he was saying on the steps. We had to do 4,800 push-ups before we even touched the ball. Mm. Why? Because you get stronger when you're at your weakest state. If I come in fresh in the park and just knock out 20 muscle-ups, I ain't do nothing I'm fresh. Wait till you done did 4,800 reps. Now do muscle-up. Even if you did 10, you creating more strength and endurance because you're already tired and you're forcing yourself to get stronger. You're pushing yourself. Now. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's basically what it is. So, so reps to me, like, Everything was high reps. Even when we did dips, we had I had something called called fifty fifties, which is basically your first rep fifty dips. You walk around the circle, then you do forty. Walk around the circle, 30, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That was your dips. So you went from fifty down to ten and back up to fifty. Then you finish dips, and then we do the same thing on pull-ups. Same thing on dips. We always did countdown routine, and we kept going. Like even when I, my, my countdown push-ups, we do ten push-ups, hold five seconds, nine, hold five seconds. We go all the way down to one, back up to ten, back down to one. Cause we always exerted all our energy. We burn everything and leave it on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So that's why it was like two different styles. Like that's why when we watch y'all, it's more more technical with it. I was just more burn it, <laughs> get it out, get it out there, yeah, true, true. yeah. And that's why you can learn. Like even other teams out there, you can, you can learn if you watch. You just take apart what's important, yes. not what you see. Take away what's important, not what you're looking Ooh. at. Yeah, because I can see somebody do a move. Listen to the substance he's giving y'all. Listen to this wisdom of the bar master, the culture. 
Yeah. He's giving you the system. Don't just mimic, you ain't gonna get it. Take yeah. what helps you, bro. Yeah, because a lot of people will see somebody do hands and I wanna learn that. It ain't about the hands, it's about what, what, what are they doing with their body to keep themselves up there. Mm -hmm. They're not noticing, they think they got strong arms. Nah, it's the core. <laughs> the core is helping you keep yourself up there. But people ain't catching that. It's like, I'm gonna put my legs on the wall until I get it. <laughs> you never get no hands said doing that way. Cause they're not taking, they're not taking the, the fundamentals behind it. They just taking apart what they think they need, not. You know, it's just bull. Love is love. I know how to pick apart everything. <laughs> but how many other teams can do that? Once again, I respect every team out there. When we started was maybe five teams, man. Maybe yeah. I'm five to ten. Want to say ten? Yeah, cause once, say once the, from how I seen it, once, the once the, the um, once the, the, the DVD actually came out. It, it, like everybody came out the same time. You think that, so? From how I saw it. Okay, gotcha. Because gotcha. I remember like in, in Lincoln Terrace, we knew about people in Wingate, because that's like, right. like cousins. Yeah, that's true, that's true. I didn't know about Highlanders or true. Harlem Seals or any other team. That's I only deep. knew about who was in my circumference. That's deep. So, I'm gonna give you that. A lot of once, teams once, together, once, so. um, once we started posting videos on YouTube, then I started seeing other videos pop like, oh snap, I know that part. Right. That's what, Dudes posting their videos is what made me start visiting parks, mm, looking wow. for people. <laughs> you know what he's saying? This is what made us, if you know you was great, you didn't stay on your block, bro. Nah. How you know you great unless you step in another man's park where he is great? Yeah. And that's what kind of bothered me. I'm not going to mention no leaders out there because I'm going to make sure I respect my brother Vito said it ain't my ego. There's a lot of leaders that's leaders today. When me and Vito was in the park, y'all wasn't even being recognized. <laughs> my thing was we in there, yo, I got my team, I'm Blase Blase, and rep your team so we know who you are. Yeah. A lot of people watched. And then when me and Ido, Vito kind of stepped back just a little bit from the bull that was going on, then they jumped in the front and said, look at us. So, I mean, I can't give you the props you deserve. I want to see the work that you put in. That's all I'm saying. Put the work in, man, because we put a lot of work in for many, 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 many years. Salahat, salahat, jasadu kulluhu. And when that lump of flesh...